Hello Internet, and thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Sam, the Hopeful Guy, and welcome back to The Last Door, Season 2, Episode 3. What's this? I'm wearing something entirely different. Yeah, I've recorded, um, on, hello person, Monday night, uh, I decided to get pizza from Domino's, pizza, but all the oil got to my head, so I'm just like, I couldn't do much. Anyway, we're back, and I don't remember where we were at. Think we're going to explore the mansion? I'm not sure. Right, it's shut. Oh. I found I found this picture. Was it made by one of your students? Yes. Uh, this was painted by Colt. Yeah, this chair was painted by Paul Kearney. What would you say it represents? Uh, things that were familiar to him, you know. Village, his home. Those other shapes? I reckon I don't know. You could ask one of his classmates. Uh, they should be able to tell you more about it. Well, you don't have to stand up. Okay, where can I find his classmates? Oh wait, these are kids, right. I forgot about that. I found this drawing in school, is it yours? That one? Hey, no, that's kid. He painted it a long time ago, you see? This drawing is Kieran's. There could be a clue here for his whereabouts. What about these buildings? Don't know, never seen them before. What's this? That's the barrel of the hill, the one up there. But you can't get too close, the crooked one sleeps at the bottom. The crooked man. <coughs> I don't have COVID. Yes, and the barrenog tree in the graveyard. That tree gives me the chills these nights. On reunion, they got them little lanterns on them. They look like evil little eyes, I do dare say. Mm-hmm. They like they stand at you, eh? Why is there a dragon? What is this? That's the crooked fucking dra <laughs> dragon. Sorry, language. That's the crooked one right there. They say a villager defied. They say a villager defied it. And the next day, her house was burned straight to the breaking ground. They say it was the crooked one paying her back for what she done. You have a disrespect them deities. That's the house of Kieran found treasure. Do you know how to get there? Sure, it's easy. Gotta kick in the nuts, though. Why? It's an initiation right. Uh, okay, why? Oh! I don't know if that's gonna stick or not. Oh! Did you? Where, you were, where are you Kieran's friend? He was nice, but he didn't want to play too much. Reckon because of the masks and all that. He was mostly for going to the hills by himself. Was Kieran not afraid? Nah, he said he'd, he'd seen them. And that they were not as scary as the aunt says. I think that is why he, they took him. Because he's an arrogant bitch. You think the marsh dwellers took him? Yeah, for sure. Before he disappeared, he said he found a treasure. A disc with a beautiful drawing on it. <laughs> he took it from the old house in the hills. Maybe the marshal has wanted it, dare we? I must go. Fare thee well, stranger. A wicker statue supporting a pair of animal horns. The twigs look fresh. Here, have some change. Don't move. Ow. Hello. The metal trap door, it seems to lead to some sort of basement. Here we go. One second up. And we're back. 
just about to make our descent into, the, into probably madness. Speaking of descent, I started playing Amnesia, The Dark Descent. And let me tell you, it's a thing. I think this ba- I'm gonna give up on the voice. I think this basement might have once housed the library. It looks like it was not burned as badly as the rest of the house. Even so, there are little remains intact. in the keys, are we? This table has been upended. <sighs> I guess they were playing sorry. An ornate chest. It's inside, untouched by the fire. It was probably open long after the inferno died down. There is a diary inside. It is signed Brigid Lines Lydson. Several pages towards the end are missing. August 7th. Oh, that's the day after my birthday. Yeah, well, not the easier one, though, but... Words cannot express the gratitude that I feel for Aunt Marie's bequest. May her dear soul rest in peace. This health is just what I needed to still my nerves after the exhausting pace of life in Dublin. 10th of September. I would not have thought it to find such a remarkable library hidden away in the basement. It includes several magnificent tomes and the most pictures in the most picturesque custom of our land. 23rd, 1801. <clears throat> I found Aunt Marie's diaries next to an old iron disc, but the contents of the diaries were appalling. What could have happened to that dear old Marie to write such things? Damnable places that she speaks of. I must know if it really exists. I am resolved to investigate our family's crypt. It would be prudent to wait until dusk before traveling to the northern cape so as not to be seen 25th 1801 the abbey was in such a state of decay that it was nearly impossible to find the mural painting up in the dark fortunately a dim light happened to shine through a gap in the wall illuminating the face of the sentinel i believe aunt marie's iron disc is needed to open the secret passage the 10th of october 1801 it is this legacy of the late Lydson. I can stand to bear it no longer. Fire will put an end to this blasphemy and cleanse the land of our family's curse. And should the fire prove insufficient, may this testimony serve as a warning. I have to put some music after that. I don't know. Because it's decided to go quiet again. What happened to the piano tickling, guys? Come on. Miss Lydson must have found something abhorrent in her family's crypt. If I could find out what it was, I may learn more about the chronomiad. My intuition tells me that I must act tonight or else it will be much, much too late. Okay. common carpenter's brace. A tool like this would be useful for drilling holes in the wood. Yoink. Hi, kitty. What you want? Okay. I swear to God, if that thing moved, I'm going to be pissed. Oh! It's on fire. That's somehow worse. I'm just gonna walk by that and ignore it entirely. This place is. Oh, another wicker statue. That's that's good. So this wicker statue stands like a silent guard. Its presence makes for me uncomfortable. No. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And all of its pixelated glory. As though I have a uh, trespass on forbidden grounds. Hmm. Oh, it's just open. I think I'd much rather look for a key. 
guess that guy went out, candle went out, huh? Oh, they're gone now. In the middle of the graveyard stands an old alder tree, which the locals call Fjernal. Many lanterns hang from it. I do not know for what purpose, though. I would rather not interfere with traditions. I do not quite yet understand. Fuck it. Aww. Can I take some dirt, though? No. Can I bury the chain on there? Okay. That seems like the logical conclusion for them, yeah. To be fair, I didn't really explore all that much. Dumbass kids still over here. Nope, oh, they are gone. Wait. It's a drawing of some sort of spiked circle. Is it the sun or something else? Chain it. Oh. Erase it. Uh, I didn't notice that before. Oh, take the ribbon. Oh, oh, there it goes. Hmm. Well, I, uh, dare. Oof, I still don't like that noise. We're just gonna nope the fuck out of here. Uh, the beach? Oh, there's the ribbon. The ribbon that was hanging from the mask. Well. Damn. An old barrel stranded in the shore of paint roots. Mineral oil is sealed. Guess I have mineral oil now. There's a hole in the barrel just to push the little bottle. And I managed to fill it with oil. What purpose that's going to serve? I don't know. I don't think I ever went up this way. I've never been up here. I can see a lighthouse in the distance. Can I get the ribbon this time? Cool. I have a red ribbon. Uh, I don't know why I have it, but I have it now. Now I gotta go to the lighthouse. A whole new hell that I get to explore. It's a whole new hell filled with frights and probably more. That's all I know from that song, because I really don't like Aladdin. Then it's fighting words, but it's true. I don't like Aladdin. It's okay at best. Oh! It's another wicker statue, just hanging there. Just hanging out. I've never seen someone hang a statue before. What a ghastly custom! The wicker man is in the shape of a hangman! Here, you want some ribbon, buddy? No. You want some oil? No. Alright. Well, I'm just gonna... No one is answering. Oh, is there anyone home? No, well, I guess the obvious is obvious. Going up them stairs. I feel like I walk just one leg at a time. Hello there. There's a dim light inside. This wide copper pipe runs up the tower to the ground. It's covered with salt and seaweed. <laughs> Trying to remove the pipe makes no sense. But I can climb the pipe. It 
Someone inside. Maybe we can make some kind of noise to attract their attention. Sounds like they, it attracted someone's attention downstairs. As long as they don't kill me, I think I'll be fine. I got something to be in for. I gotta be more badly. Don't ask me why I did that. I just have to keep my back pinched more straight. It's very hard to when you're playing games like this. Did I just transition to a memory? Oh, oh, there we go. A drip of water, if left unchecked, can ruin the man's whole collection of this little small pool. Good evening. Do you happen to be the lighthouse keeper? My name is Wakefield. Aye, the stranger. What would he want from me? There we go. I am visiting Ellis Moore. The lighthouse caught my eye. Aye, since it's dark, you thought it would be abandoned? Well, it's not. Even though I can barely see it then, this is my house. Why is the lighthouse lamp not lit? It is not dangerous for is it not dangerous for the ships? Hey, do not let it concern you. Many years ago, the sea lanes were altered to avoid this cruise. Now it's very rare indeed to see a ship in these waters. After the accident, the lighthouse was never repaired. Was there a failure in the lamp's mechanism? I precisely thought. One stormy afternoon, I suddenly heard a strong noise up in the light room. The clockwork mechanism had stopped work, working, and the lamp was off. Oi, it was terrible. I'd never seen a failure, I thought. Oi, I could not get the lighthouse working again. Has and nobody tried to fix the lamp since? Uh, no. No one in the village is interested. For for them, the more isolated Ellis Moore is, the better. They do not care about ships or accidents, especially Lord Donon. He sees anything coming from the outside island as a threat. I know I'm terrible, but come on. Say I had an accident. What happened? Hey, I was checking the lenses. And then the failure looked so very strange that I was worried. All of a sudden the light must have turned on. I was blinded and can't see. Nothing but fleet and shapes ever since. Don't say that, you dick. I just... <laughs> it's like, hmm, maybe I should change my mind. Do you know anything about this... Disappearance of Lord Donan's son. A tragedy it was. A strange one, but a tragedy nonetheless. What was so strange about Kiran's disappearance? I just find it a bit suspicious that it happened so close to the reunion. It's too easy to be keeping secrets during the festival, being how everyone is afraid of leaving the village those needs. What do you mean? Look. Uh, folks here are too gullible. Aye. They do not protect themselves from their strange fears. They'll not eat corn, nor drink milk, or they'll dig graves for their mirrors. And of course, they avoid standing near each other, near a fear not too long, because they, though the fiends cannot touch the tree, the tree, tree they are attracted to its resin. But sure, it's all nonsense. Look it, look, it's really easy to prove it all wrong. Just don't follow the rituals. You're a stranger to our ways, but have you seen any of the things I mentioned? Well, I did see a group of people in the village burying mirrors. Exactly. What do you think would happen if you were unburied those mirrors? That a band of goblins would come out of the marshes and steal them? Nothing but nonsense. What of Kieran's disappearance then? Well, I admit, I'm not sure what happened to the boy. But one thing I am sure of, this festival of reunion is nothing but a farce. 
And it would be just so easy to prove it. I might go up, might I go upstairs to the light see the light room? Even though the lamp is off, I, s I should like to take a view of the surrounding countryside. Well, I do not think you'll see anything, really. But if you are so interested, yes, I can see me. Thank you for your pleasant conversation. Get the folk out of here, you blighter. Yes, yes, you already have my permission, you dickhead. Now get the folk away from me, so I can wash this orange blob in peace that is a fire. Phew. The lighthouse lamp surrounded by eight large lenses. It is off. Okay, well, first things first, I'm betting I should probably check over here first. The clockwork mechanism that caused the lamp's reflector to spin. However, I think that something is missing. I could do something with the oiling as well. Cog. Uh, however, the mechanism is still too rusty to move. And. Hi. Can I help you? Sentinel Guardian that my head is blocking. A little bit of oil. That was a crack. It's a little hole in the tank where the, the oil is leaking. This mechanism will not work in properly unless I fix it. Uh, ribbon? Oh! Well, what do you know? <laughs> okay. I guess it's all turning up good. Huh. That was simple. Looks like the lighthouse electric lamp is battery slot. Is that battery? Is this chain gonna work? No. Looks like the lamp is lit by some sort of electric switch. However, the battery is flat. Perhaps I can find a way to recharge the battery. Uh, I'm gonna need that. Yeah, I know how the windmill. They're the water wheel. I didn't know they had batteries way back when. Small stove hardly managed to look suspicious. I cannot believe it! I never thought I would hear the rhythm of my beloved lighthouse working again. You don't know how grateful I am. For years I've longed to hear that marvelous sound. I get it, I suck at voice acting. Stop. But the light has yet to be lit, I'm afraid. Ah, the battery. Have you not charged it already? I used to have a crank I would use it on every night. But since the loss in my sight, I have lost track of it. Okay, well, there's one thing I can crank. Oh, the mailbox. The very envelope is very old, stamp return, there's a letter inside. My dear cousin, I am doing poorly. I would ask that you not call upon me here at Ellis Moore. Not now, nor ever again. Please keep grandmother's ring. I believe that she would have wanted you to have it. Yours true, faithfully, Brigid. There's something else in the envelope. A ring. An iron ring. Well, I'm glad I checked that. All right, you are very heavy on my leg. Can you get out? That was her claws, and that hurt. Well, oh. They're gonna be pissed at me. I'm not too sure about this. Oh yeah, there's some back here. What the fuck was that? Huh. 
Oh! Excuse you! Oh shit, it's kicking up. The music completely shattered. What the fuck? What masked man would do this? Nothing? Uh, maybe this Lord Danan. What's up? Don't you do that to me. Seems to be heading east. To the hill. Not quite the hill. One direction. Well, thank God for that. Where I wanted to go. The kid's place anyway. Don't jump scare me, you bastards. You can't do it, aren't you? Well, Kerchunk. Ho! Oh. Hello. Uh, start up here? A doll's theater lamp is spinning around. A painted man-sized wooden doll that represents an old lady. A painted man-sized wooden doll that represents a king. Well, let's help this lady along. Hello there. Ho! Oh. That's the mask? Don't hear that shuffling? It's an iron, old iron disc, a drawing with spiked circles engraved on it. Don't, don't do it. Actually, I want to see a better song back there. Who knows? I hear something wandering in the dark. I can see a deformed shadow there, writhing and fidgeting. I cannot get any closer, though. Okay. I just have an amalgamation of stuff now, don't I? What the hell was that? Oh, it came from the house, huh? Hmm. Well, we're progressing along smoothly here. Oh! Uh... Rip. Rip. And another wicker. <laughs> Alright, that, that, that's fine. I mean, nobody really likes Commodus anyway. Or Caesar. Probably Caesar, because it's a Roman statue. Right, I still have to fucking... Okay, do that. Okay. Use that to charge the battery. Managed to charge the battery by attaching the dynamo to the bicycle's cog. Oh! You're on fire now. Egad! Egad! This thing's on fire! Is there somebody following me? What is up with that? Who knows? Maybe they're trying to tell me that I'm doing a bad thing. Future me, edge this out. It's kind of terrible. Let me guess this one on fire. Okay, thank god that's not on fire. Out of that, or the guy's dead. No, so going. I think I would go insane if I lived here. Jeez. But 
you back. For a few hours. You know the reflector spin mechanism working. The lamp's still up. Oh. Yoinkus. Cool. I'll let the old codger know I got it working. Never mind. Now. Oh. Keeps doing. Oh my god, it's so inconvenient. Who keeps setting these on fire? Oh my god. Frame that, that man. There we go. Oh, nope, nope, that's not the way I want you to go. <laughs> I'm nearing the end of this thing. Excuse me? Oh! If I reveal the mural painting on the stones, this is a different burger nearly a century ago. According to the diary, the light from the lighthouse revealed the eyes of the sentinel. It's a pair of evil eyes glittering in the dark. Well, puzzle solving. The hidden entrance is open now. What the hell is that? What was that sound? Uh, I don't think you want to know, God, guy. Well, at least that's on fire now. We gotta remain consistent. The wicker man. They're gonna be one for the bees! Oh, not the bees! What a cruel world, but not the bees! Oh. Symbol looks familiar. Spike circle. Could be the sun. What well, waits for me in the abyss of the unknown? I shall never know. I don't want to be down there. The tunnel descends deeper, deep into the earth. Will I find that I send crypt at the bottom or something? Dear God, I'm really confident, my friend. Your faith in me was misplaced. No. I will preserve. It'd be nice if I had a lantern. Actually. Pop that up just a little bit for you. And that too. Oh, right. You don't get much light down here, do you? I'm just kind of feeling around in the dark. This is something I'm not crap falling. Oh, look at that. It's the hole. Okay. Ashes. Ashes. Gotham does not look quite as old as the others. Small coffin, half rotted away. And then a note. Can't wait for this jump scare to happen. Some old pages lie haphazardly on the coffin lid. It is as though they had been dropped here from the upper hill long ago. They bear faint notes written in a trembling hand. Down in this unholy burrow is the feared Chronomediadon. Our worst nightmares crawl and die. Resting down here are the dauntless, those who dare enter the lair of the snake and the bird. Each of those men and women crossed the path between. They walked through the mist to the other side, where the ultimate truth screams in terror. 
and then they returned. These are my ancestors. Amongst the dead stones of the Cronim, Cronimedian lie the proud Lysen, reduced to something far worse than dust or ashes. Could they blasphemy in the coffin be Aunt Marie's true legacy? No, I shall not accept this fate for myself. The engraving on the coffin is so badly eroded that the name is barely readable. Marie Leitzen. You just open up the coffin? Really? What am I looking at? A cheap jump scare, that's what I'm looking at. You bastards. The door somewhere over here. Oh, wait, there I am. I. This is not where I was. I should put this in the dark. Seekers of the truth will sacrifice their wisdom. So open the way to where the fear nog blooms. Your offspring we welcome its hidden threat. Only the light of your sign will carry its purge. Oh. Ah. Uh. Howdy there, folks. Stop. <laughs> mm. <sighs> oh. Okay, okay, this is kicking up. Yeah, shoot me, I don't care. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Hi. Oh, this is legit creepy. You up in your game here, game. Well, game. Don't. Uh. Ooh, I feel tingly down my back. The back end of my back. Don't open up no gape your mouth. I have nothing to say to that. I'm just gonna walk on by. Cool. Are they gonna be in color this time, the jump scares? It's automated. I ain't doing it. Hey, it's uh Jerry. Debit? Oh, well, I got bitch slapped again. Am I just stuck under here? Okay, 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 okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Um, have a good day. <laughs>